little information about Cinderella for you. This was our one act that we took up to uh, on our VHSL uh, competition circuit. Uh, we were able to uh, place first in our conference, and we did place third in our region against some very tough competition, I have to say. Uh, usually, for, it's first and second go on to the state competition. Uh, very proud of this um, little production. The, uh, you guys know that I'm doing this, but the right is in the audience, see Grace Simon. Yes.
you understand. Yes, Auntie. Good. Now, this house is in ill repair. We've got a lot to do before it becomes livable. Come inside. I have some work for you to do. I'm sure your parents would have wanted you to be of some use, wouldn't they? I suppose. I'm glad you agree. Come along. Mother, I simply need 
at him to make sure the shoes are, well, big enough. <laughs> of course, of course, we are big. Right this way, madam. Which dresses would you like them to try, madam? Bring them all. Try whatever you like, my goat. Come along, dear. I have a feeling their happiness would be quite expensive today. Um, Auntie? Yes. What should I do? <sighs> Stay right where you are. There are no graveyards about, so I don't suppose you have anywhere to wander off to.
following the events, the prince will choose one of the young women to become his wife and royal princess. <laughs> when Cinderella's uncle heard the announcement, he quickly made his way home and delivered the news to his family.
choose one of you charming young ladies to be his wife. My best to all of you. Shortly after the queen's welcoming words, Cinderella entered the palace. She instantly drew the gaze of everyone there, for she looked enchantingly beautiful in her golden dress. Of course, none of the guests knew her, for she had been kept hidden in the service of her auntie and cousins for so long. Her appearance was so different than her usual plain dress that not even her relatives recognized her. They assumed she was some born princess, and her cousins became instantly jealous. They never once considered that it could be Cinderella, for they believed she was sitting at home. When the prince saw her, he was instantly struck by her beauty and asked her, to dance. Cinderella was entirely surprised by the attention of the prince and it was several hours later before she realized that he had only danced with her. May I ask you something? Yes. What's your name? Um, Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella. It's beautiful. Is it a family name? Oh, no. Is your family here? I would love to meet them. No, they're not here. Well, where are they? Well, my parents died when I was young. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's all right. Well, may I ask where you live? Oh, in a beautiful garden. Wait, I mean, I live in a house that has a beautiful garden, and I only <coughs> spend most of my time there. There's a lovely hazel tree that I often sit under and remember my parents. Thank you. It must be a lovely place. It is. They continued talking, laughing, dancing, and enjoying each other's company until late into the evening. Cinderella had never enjoyed herself more, and as she gazed into the prince's eyes, he gazed back with eyes filled with infinite wonder. And for the first time in her life, she felt the warm glow of romantic love. I've had a wonderful time, Your Highness. So have I. I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? The day I'll propose to my future wife. Oh, yes, I'm sure there'll be many other women there. Yes, many with the hopes and the remote possibility that I will ask one of them to be my wife. Possibility is a powerful term, however remote. I'm sure my cousins would love to hear that. Your cousins? As if in a delirious dream, Cinderella had lost all sense of time. The entire evening had slipped by in a blur, and as she gazed around the palace, she realized in one shocking instant that her cousins were no longer at the ball. Oh my goodness, they're not here. Who's not here? I'm sorry, I must leave at once. Wait a moment. What is it? It's been so wonderful spending the evening in your company. I just wanted to let you know, I was never really planning on getting married. Oh? Yes, well, you see, my mother arranged this event and hoped that I would meet someone and fall in love. It all seems silly to me, inviting strangers to a party and then asking one of them to marry me. It is a bit sudden. Yes, I didn't want to do it, but she's... The queen. Yes, of course. But now that I've met you, it doesn't seem so silly anymore. I just wanted you to know that. Okay. <laughs> Cinderella 
returned to the kitchen fireplace, relieved to think that she had not been caught. But her auntie woke her early the next morning. Cinderella! Here she is. 